Chapter 30 There has to be clouds. Want some pea soup Maxi? Bob takes Bishop. Nice checkmate back there Bob B. Max takes Rook. You started this shit Maxi a million. Bob sacrifices Queen. Boys, boys, behave yourselves in there. Soup's ready, Lydia calls the draw. Dia Dia pants on fire. Max. What did I tell you before? I will toss this goddamned thing in the river. I swear. 163. Maxi. Come and eat your soup now. Victor, you son of a bitch. Borby, don't you doctor Bictu that way. We gotta get you into some speech therapy classes Charlie. How did I get here Victor? Victor. How Victor? How? 164. Cumulus Nimbus. The End. 165. About the author. Charlie Boxer Corklets was born in eastern Croatia to Mary and Joseph on March 12, 1958. His grandfather on his mother's side, William Wonkachok Factorian von Burgermeister, was a world-renowned candy cane maker specializing in sugar replacement products. Charlie is an astute mathematician, alchemist, sooth slayer, herpetologist, quantum particle physicist, avid tennis player, horticulturist, artist, playwright, amateur gynecologist, and part-time short order cook. Charlie prefers seclusion over large crowds. A wishy-washy Pisces that enjoys, chasing his own tail, long walks on the beach, slumber parties dancing around bonfires, and pizza, and ice cream sandwiches covered with sprinkles. C.B. at the Cedofeedon.net. 166. I dedicate these writings to God, my Christ, my heroes, my higher power, my guides, my friends, my wife, my daughters, my shaman, and least but not least the darker elemental forces that feast in this realm. When I began writing this book, my initial intentions were to expose, and possibly, scare the living bejupiters out of any souls that may stumble upon these pages. My hopes were to spell into as many minds as possible a conceptual understanding of artificial intelligence, what it really is, and why it poses an existential threat to our world. We can preserve our humanity by simply rejecting the soon-to-be-on-the-shelf's physical augmentations and commercial advancements in data collection and projecting apparatuses. What I never realized was that I would be cracking open my own eggshell and crawling out of it and into a new beginning for myself. Through these writings I have manifested my own destiny. Crazy right? Could it be this simple? I have opened new channels of light and understanding that have laid dormant within me. The flavor of this text is as of a self-portrait. What may have become for me in this reality had only a few minor alterations in the fabric of this space-time continuum had taken place. Peace, love, understanding, integrity, dignity, gratitude to all. 167. The birds against the April wind. Flew northward, singing as they flew, they sang, the land we leave behind has swords for corn blades, blood for dew. O wild birds, flying from the south, what saw and heard ye, gazing down? We saw the mortar's upturned mouth, the sickened camp, the blazing town. Beneath the bivouac's starry lamps, we saw your march-worn children die, in shrouds of moss, in cypress swamps, we saw your dead uncoffined lie. We heard the starving prisoner sighs and saw, from line and trench, your sons follow our flight with homesick eyes beyond the battery's smoking guns. And heard and saw ye only wrong and pain, I cried, O wing-worn flocks. We heard, they sang, the freedman's song, the crash of slavery's broken locks. We saw from new, uprising states the treason nursing mischief spurned. 168. As, crowding freedom's ample gates, the long estranged and lost returned. Our dusky faces, seamed and old, and hands horn hard with unpaid toil, with hope in every rustling fold, we saw your star-dropped flag uncoil. And struggling up through sounds accursed, a grateful murmur clomb the air, a whisper scarcely heard at first, it filled the listening heavens with prayer. And sweet and far, as from a star, replied a voice which shall not cease, till, drowning all the noise of war, it sings the blessed song of peace. So to me, in a doubtful day of chill and slowly greening spring, low stooping from the cloudy grey, the wild birds sang or seemed to sing. They vanished in the misty air, the song went with them in their flight, but lo! They left the sunset fair, and in the evening there was light. 169. As you may have noticed, there are many underlined texts. These are all reference links that you will find in your Y folder in the PDF version. Please take some time and review these informational portals. You will find everything you will need to move forward as we ascend into the lighted phase of this cosmic cycle. 
Our mission today here has been made clear, we are the Light Warriors, it is our time to, as the Keepers of the Flame, to light the way for the others. Our time here is limited, as we gather his army of Earth Angels, and settle into our places on the Silver Seeds loading docks. Fruit of his labor ripe for the feast. Sudgeoned in wallow sifted in yeast. Follow yon beacon lit up in hollow. His is the light wise men choose to follow.